YouTube, what up? It's your boy, The Gun Fiend, and we back with another video, man. Tonight, I'm gonna bring y'all my 2021 gun collection, part one, and I'm only gonna bring y'all my pistols tonight. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say the other half for another time when we grow a little bit more. You know, we'll see if y'all really wanna see the rest of the collection or if y'all happy right here with part one. But before we get into it, I need y'all to like, I need y'all to subscribe, comment in the section below, man. We really growing this platform. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. And like I said, I'm bringing y'all almost all my pistols. Y'all won't get to see everything. Y'all only seeing my pistols tonight. Y'all won't see any rifles. Um, let's go ahead and jump straight to it. First gun, it's gonna be the Smith & Wesson. Smith and Wesson MP bodyguard Chapman in 380. It is loaded. Got the Hornady critical critical defense. All my all my magazines are loaded, but I clear make sure all the head were empty. As you can see, it's clear. And this is the Smith and Wesson 380 bodyguard. Uh, I did a review on this on my page. If you want to know more about it, check me out. Um, let me know what y'all think. Comment, let me know. I was kind of harsh on it, but not really. I was just, you know, speaking true facts, how I feel about it, what I think about it. Um, like I said, it is in 380. Got one of these. It's a 10 round magazine. You know, I got big hands. Let me get a a better purchase on it. And that's a Smith & Wesson 380 bodyguard. I think I got this from a gun show for about $280. Came with two mags, even came with a little, a little uh, safe. Let's see, next, I guess I'm gonna just go size wise I guess next another Smith and Wesson m and shield chamber in nine mil magazine is loaded just regular full metal jackets in there this gun doesn't get carried too often Let's see if we lock back this thing's stiff but we lock back and we are clear for all of you out there Smith & Wesson Shield, chambered in nine millimeter. And uh, I've actually seen some more magazines. This one came with a seven and eight round magazine. And I got this from a gun show for about $325 during pandemic. Thanks, stiff, man. I got it two hands just to just to get it next one of my personal favorites this gun gets carried a, a lot i ain't gonna say it's my everyday carry because of course you know i mix it up depending on how i'm feeling where i'm going what i'm doing but uh this sig sawyer p365 also chambered in nine mil this gun, I love this gun. I love this gun. I wish I would've got, you know, uh, optic ready version. I didn't, I went the cheaper route. I do have my night sights on there. You can see smiling a little bit. And uh, this is a 15 round magazine. I'm see. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't have them see hollows. And my seed. Yeah. If you want to know more about this gun, I also have a review on this on my on my page on my channel. You can check it out. It's the Sig Sawyer P365 chambered in nine mil. I got this from Academy Sports, and I want to say I paid five fifty after taxes. Pretty man, I love the black and gray. 
nice size, and of course the 15 round magazine give you a good purchase on it. Next, Springfield Armory Hellcat. Yes, sir. The Hellcat, man, you gotta love the Hellcat. 13 round magazine. Got to see hollows in there. You know the Hellcat gonna have hollows in it. Let me see. Let me lock, get a lock back. Yeah. There we go. Clear for all of you out there. Now I keep my all my magazines, you know, every single magazine for the most part is loaded. Um, I keep all my magazines locked away in a safe. Um, you know, I just don't got time to sit down and when it's time to use a gun or you're not going to have time when you really need that gun to pull out a box of ammunition and tell the bad guy, the burglar, the home invader or whatever, give me a minute so I could load up my magazine and then we could do this. You don't got time for all that. So all my magazines are loaded. That way I can boom, 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 drop a mag, put a new one in, boom, 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 and keep going. You know, for whichever gun I needed, um, you know, I just, I believe all your magazines should be loaded, um, personally. Um, now, sometimes I go shoot a specific firearm and I come back from the range and I might not feel like loading the magazines that day, but, you know, I make sure to get it all, get it all done eventually. So we got the Hellcat. Got the U sights on it. I have not done a review on this. Um, I need to. I just haven't. I love this gun. It's a really good gun. Subcompact gun. Holds 13 in the magazine. This is a 13 round magazine. I'm actually going to order some 15s here soon from Cheaper Than Dirt. If you don't know Cheaper Than Dirt, then you're late. You need to get on board with Cheaper Than Dirt. They usually got, you know, plenty of ammo and accessories for all your firearms, pistols, rifles, shotguns, and, you know, whatever else you need, holsters. Um, you know, they got a little bit of everything. Springfield Armory Hellcat, chamber than 9 mil. This little gun, man, I'm going to do a review on this gun soon because I really like it. Um, the only reason I don't carry this gun as often is I bought a holster from a gun show for it, and I just don't like that particular holster. And, um, you know, I still carry it, still get some use, still get some play. My lady actually starting to like it. Um, she's probably going to start carrying more often. One reason is she's not carrying it as often as she would like is it does not have a manual of safety. And for her, she loves a manual safety, nothing wrong with them. I don't have to have it. Um, if I have it, I have it. If I don't, I don't, but it's the Hellcat. Let's see, next. We gonna go Ruger Security 9. Chambered in nine mil it is loaded. Sig Sawyer your hollow tips. I, I like Sig, man. I'm not gonna say I'm a Sig guy, but I like Sig. You know, it's the more of I'm starting to, you know, really get into firearms and practicing and, you know, just exploring the firearm world. I'm really starting to like Sig. I like the ammo, I like their firearms, you know, good things from Sig. This, however, is not a Sig, just has Sig ammo. This is the Ruger Security 9. And uh, I forgot to give y'all the price on the Hellcat. I think I paid five, five, maybe six after taxes for the Hellcat during pandemic. Um, this, however, this is my second firearm that I ever bought legally. Um, and the reason I say legally is just because um, since I was 21, this is, this is the second firearm I ever had. It's also nine mil. Um, it's a 15 round magazine. It's a metal magazine. Gotta like that. 
this not a bad gun, man. The reason I bought this is because I needed something else. Um, I needed something to, to leave at the house. I was working out of town um, around that time, and I wanted uh, another gun to leave at the house, and this is what I bought. Um, it has the manual safety, so my lady was going to feel comfortable comfortable using it, you know, front serrations, you can get a little press check or whatever, a good grip on it. Uh, sights ain't too bad. I'm going to do a review on this. I've actually shot a ton of rounds through this. I don't know the exact count, but I've shot a ton of rounds through this. I've had it for, what, four years now? Can't believe it's been that long, but I've had it for four years now. Ruger Security 9. I think I bought this for like 339, 350, 360 after taxes. You know, 339s. But why I say 339? Well, I kind of remember the exact, the exact price that it was. Um, so next is actually the first gun that I ever purchased. Smith and Wesson SD9 VE chambered in. Nine mil. Thought I had the hollows in this one too. Might have grabbed the wrong magazine, but seven is it seventeen rounds? Yep, seventeen rounds in this gun. Um I know we're clearing this. You know. This gun, man, my first gun I ever bought. And you know, I've actually sold this gun twice, and each time I sold this gun. You know, to a friend, um, I end up calling him back a week or two later and like, yo, let me get that back. And uh, I won't be selling this gun no more. Um, it's not a, <coughs> excuse me, it's not a perfect gun. It's not the best gun. Um, it's not a great gun, but it's a, it's a good gun. And I bought this gun for about 330, 350. Uh, after taxes, like I said, I like how it looks. It's not chrome, but um, it's got the, you know, almost chrome look. I forgot the finish, but chrome look, black bottom, front and back serrations. Nothing special with the sights. Um, but I was like, man, for three, three thirty, three fifty. You know, after taxes, 17 rounds for my first gun, I was like, yeah, man, let me get that Smith & Wesson. Yeah, come on, man, I need that first gun. I was happy as hell, man. This gun also is going to get a review, you know. It's special to me, of course, but, you know, I don't mind dogging this thing out. Like, this thing, the triggers, we'll get on to that another day, but let's see. Next. C Sawyer. Uh, what is this? The P3 P320 M17. Man, this is optic ready. I had bought an optic, but I bought the wrong one. I bought the C Sawyer Romeo Zero, and I needed the C Sawyer Romeo One. And um, so I, I, I I'm holding on to the Zero. Maybe think about getting a P365 XL and throwing it on there. But um, this gun right here, man, that's a big boy. You know, I ain't got, I got some, I got some hollows for this. I need to put in there, but I just took this to the range. So it just got filled up. This is a 21 round magazine. It came with it. Um, we are clear. Man, you see, ooh, cut that off. Well, clear. You see how easy that thing cocked back, man. Um, this is the Ar the Army's gun. This is the contract they had with the Army. Uh, their gun's a little different, of course. Um, but I love this gun. I got an O-Light on there. Ooh, yeah. Now, I will say one thing about O-Light. Um, as I have an O-Light for this as well, I had to take it off and put it in this holster, but, you know, and I actually ordered two more O-Lights maybe three weeks ago, maybe almost a month now, and I've never had nothing bad to say about O-Light, but they've been telling me 
you know, your order's on the way. I don't have no tracking number. I don't know where my order's at. And they telling me my order got stopped in customs coming from China to Georgia. And they can't refund the money so I could order, a, you know, a new, a new order or none of, none of that. They say it's already on the way. They don't know where exactly, just somewhere from China to the warehouse in Georgia has got caught up in customs. So whatever the hell that means, you know. So this is my Sig Sawyer P320 um, M17 with the O-Lite. Uh, it's got your manual safety. Man, I love this gun. It's got your nice sight. I love this gun. It's just big as hell, man. It's just big as hell. Uh, I don't have a holster for it yet. I'm probably more than likely have to get a open carry holster. Um, maybe even a thigh holster because it's just a big gun, man. I can't conceal carry it. Um, sometimes if I got a boot bag, I will carry this as like a backup. I carry a smaller pistol and also this. And I got this gun for six fifty, about you know seven hundred dollars after taxes. Came with a twenty one round magazine, and also a seventeen round magazine. And it's optic ready, and has your night sight. You know, great buy, great buy. This thing, you know, one hand you could rack it, one finger. Great gun. No complaints. Great gun. Love this. Sig Sawyer P320 M17. Man, I'm going to try to get y'all out of here. So I uh, kept y'all long. We're going to get to it. Next gun. FN509. Boom. Doesn't have nice sights. I did a review. If you go on my channel, um, if you look for the video, Guns on Vacation, you'll see this. The FN 509, you'll see a AK pistol and a CP365. And I'll give a pretty decent review on this gun. Um, here soon, I'll give a specific review on it. It's the FN 509. Love this gun. 20 round, uh, 24 round magazine. You know, big wee wee. Six or your hollow. Love this gun. I have an O life for this as well. Well, if my alien get holster, it won't fit in there. Love this holster, by the way. Next. Bay. This is Bay. Zastava M92 AK 47 pistol, 762 by 39. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the Sig Sawyer M17 is 9mm and the FN 509 is 9mm, if I forgot to say. Um, but Bay 762 by 39 we are clear. And, you know, if, if, if you're new to my page or my channel, check it out. You'll see Bay a lot, man. Um, she's always around. She's always going to be with me. Um, but one thing y'all haven't seen with Bay. Boom. I've had this for a minute. Loaded. 75 round drum. Whew. Look at that, man. Yes, sir. Put that on there for y'all, man. Whew. Look at Bay, man. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Ain't no, don't no, come on now. Don't nobody want none of this, man. This bay, man. Yes, sir. Zestava M92 AK-47 pistol, 7.62 by 39. This ain't American made. This ain't no Century Arms. This is Yugoslavian, Serbian, whichever one, you know, real deal. This is bay. Next, another firearm y'all see on my channel a lot. This is one of my favorite toys. Um, this is one that gets a lot of attention. Everybody's always like, what's that? Or, you know, what's on it? Or can I shoot it? You know, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. This one get a lot of attention, man. 
and uh, five, five, six, 40 round. We all clear for everybody out there, man. Can y'all see? We all clear, man. This right here is my DTI. In there. My DTI Deltine AR pistol. Chambered in 223 556. Um, got the brace on there. Somebody tried to give me hell about shooting it, you know what I'm saying? Shoulder in it or whatever. But, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, subscribe to my channel, man. We're going to get into gun laws for some of y'all because, you know, obviously people just listen to the news and don't take a second to really, you know, see what's what or read. Um, flip ups. <sighs> Got the EOTech. If you know firearms, and you know what the DTI is, and you know what the EOTech is, then you know this EOTech costs just as much as this firearm. Um, the EOTech, man, I love it. I need to order probably two more and a magnifier for other rifles that y'all see. You know, we we'll get them subscribers up, maybe 500, and I'll show y'all my rifles. If y'all like my pistols, y'all gonna love my rifles, I promise. And not to mention, there's still two or three pistols that y'all not seeing tonight in this video that y'all gonna love to see. But, you know, I had to save them. One's out of commission. One's, you know, I'm waiting because I think y'all really gonna like it. And, uh, but this right here, pow, y'all. That's what get the attention. Yeah. This is the AR-15, no recoil. Yeah. This is what's doing it. This right here, if you know, you know. If you don't, this is your chance, man. I know y'all be on me. What's that? What's that? What's that? What can I get that? What is that? You know, I ain't going to tell you, but there it is, man. I'm giving y'all a slow peek. There it is right there. If you can read, man, you in the game. I'm going to do a review on this when I be breaking down everything that's on it where to get it, how much it costs, and i tell y'all exactly what this is, where to get it, how much it costs, this, that, and the third. You know, I got a hand stop on here. We'll get into that, because, you know. But uh, DTI, AR pistol, 223556, you know. This, that attention seeker right here. Love attention. No recoil, but as loud as hell. I'm talking about obnoxiously loud. Shooting fireballs just loud as hell. Love attention. This this that attention whore right here. And last but not least, man, I kept y'all too long. I ain't mean to keep y'all this long. Guess I was going a little slower than what I expected, but. Mossberg. 590. Shockwave, and this is here on my pistol collection because it's got the pistol grip and it's not really a shotgun. It's not a pistol. Of course, it's not a rifle. It's an other firearm, but it's got a pistol grip. So you get my Mossberg 590 Shockwave chamber 12 gauge, and we clear for all of y'all out there. That means we clear, man. And I just love this thing, man. I could, I run around the house all night just jumping, <laughs> cocking it. <that. laughs> boom, boom, boom. Five ninety shockwave. This thing a beast, man. This thing a beast. I got some beasts in my safe, but this, this thing a beast, man. If y'all ain't got no five ninety shockwave, this thing ain't doing me like it's doing some other people. You know, it's cutting their hands up and whatnot. I guess I got rough hands. I work with my hands. But this that 590 Shockwave 12 gauge 
two and three quarter, three inch shells. This will get it done, man. I think it's five plus one, six plus one, one of the two. But it's the gun fiend, man. That's all I'm gonna show y'all tonight. If y'all like what y'all seen, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I need y'all support, man. I got a whole bunch of content coming. And if you if you new to my channel, check out my page, man. I got a whole bunch of content that you probably haven't seen that you would like to see. I don't just show guns. I try to get out there and shoot them. Try to teach. Try to get my opinion. I'm gonna do a lot of you know different things. But uh. It's the Gun Fiend. This is my 2021 gun collection. Pistols only part one. Y'all subscribe, man. Get them subscribes. Like and share. We get to maybe 500. I might do it before if y'all make, you know, make a little noise for me. But I'm, I'm going to say about 500. I'm going to do my rifles. Stay tuned. Y'all still going to see my rifles in some videos. I'm going to do some reviews and some shooting. More content coming soon. It's the Gun Fiend. Like. Subscribe, comment in the section below, and I'm out.